Oifi. Ei off. Oif. Siobhan. 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 No, Siobhan. Siobhan. It's out with the V. Siobhan. Let me get a third shot at the third one. It looks like Siobhan, but it's Siobhan. Grainy. 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 Miado. 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 Pueba. Diabla. Diabla. Derbla. Cow me. Cow me. Cow me. Cow me. Oisen. Oisen. Oisen sauce. Taik. Tagre. Rudy. That's Rudy. Rudy. You two are bad friends. Who are these two idiots? White dude and an Asian dude. You two are disgusting. Well, you two are something. We're bad friends. Me lucky charm. Me, me, me lucky charm. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Happy Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Hello. It's the lovely day. We drink a lot of beer and we kiss each other. Hey, don't tell your father or your mother that you're gay. It's St. Patrick's Day. Somewhere drink another beer. Oh, the your... rainbow. Is that a. Is... Yeah, so, somewhere over the rainbow is a Irish. Uh, it is. I brought my Irish sta- stein here, so I can have. What beer. about this one? What about jump, jump, jump? That song isn't that Irish? <laughs> <laughs> How's the pain? Jump, how's the pain? Yeah, jump, jump. Yeah. Hello, hello, jump, jump. Hello, hello. <laughs> is that Irish? I don't know. That I always doesn't I, sound when Irish. I look at them in that video. I think that they're Irish. Well, House of Pain is Irish. Yeah, because they're green. No, they're not green people. They wear what? green a lot. They're green? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're Irish. They're always in green outfits and whatnot. No? I'm going to drink Guinness for, for the oh, motherland. Oh, here we go. This is for the motherland. Yeah, but I'm in recovery, baby. I want to drink it so bad. Mm. Bob, mm. Yum, yum, I've yum, had yum. drinks in front of you before. Yum, 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 yum. Are you, this is, is this bad? You can, no. No. You don't get bad. any of this. Mm. I've had drinks in front of you multiple times. I know, I like it. You Red have Bull. green. You have green stuff wait, wait, too. Wait, wait, wait. This is a green pearl edition, sugar-free Red Bull. Whoa, Chris St. Pear. Patrick's oh, Day. Thank you. I have to rip I'll this because I want to be able to have a, a soda pop. Mm. There we go. Pretty good. Welcome to the show. Look at hi, Rude. Put on your beard, please. <laughs> look at this big. Look at the size of this thing. Nice, <laughs> this nice, is nice, definitely nice, get nice. tank, dude. Yeah, I like it. I like the way your cheeks get rosy. You're like really rosy cheek. Look at you. That's because I was, che- I, I was out in the sun. Is, no, I don't think so. I think it's St. Patrick's Day. Your uh, your cheeks are all rosy. Well, whenever it's St. Patrick's Day, my my cheeks get a little <laughs> yeah, rosy. Yeah. What can I say? You know, I that's would, my wife's name too. When you get rosy. older, I think you're gonna have plump red cheeks. Yeah, I'm gonna be fat. Like plump though. But I'm gonna be fat. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking for it. I'm excited to get fat. Yeah. I love that you have green on. Today for I did ADR AD, and they they did a close up of my face. Yeah. And my face went from each end of the screen. That's how fucking fat I am. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding you. You're wide. And they had two little heads here, which was, you know, Magnum and Perdita, right? Uh-huh. And then my big fucking blob yellow fucking gross face. Big flat head. And you can see my fucking liver spots. You don't have any liver spots, baby. I do, on the side, babe. Is that what those are? What do you think it was, lesions? Yeah, lesions. <laughs> you have lesions? <laughs> um, I thought it was lesions. What, you got self-conscious about your ADR because you look mm. a little less than So, um, we were going to... Did you see Chris D recently? Yeah. You did? Today? Yeah, no, a couple days ago. He's couple in town. Days. Chris D is in town. I know that he is. Yeah. And so that we were going to prank him by what? Well, we were going to send send pubes to them, but he's in L.A. for the next three months. He would send pubes to them. But we they pranked, shaved our pubes. But not... they pranked us twice. How? What, did they, what do you mean? No, they didn't. They sent us poo. They sent us poo. That's it. They gave you COVID. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best prank in the world yeah. and he didn't even get it i know no he didn't even get it. it that's the prank though i know oh that's Are a these good chocolate one. we gotta get them we gotta get them back yeah. i know well what do we have Dude, to do sh- send you shit and give you covid imagine that poop in, poop in the mail and covid in the covid in my lungs yeah that's that fucking insane that's insane. No, we should kill those guys. Yeah, the disrespect is insane. Open your mouth. I got a chocolate for you. I, no, I don't want. It. That's I don't right now. I'm only fifty percent. <laughs> Come on. All right. Okay, it didn't close. Happen. Um, Rudy, you don't. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> how, how does that feel? Comfortable? Um, it's fine. It's not itchy. It's not itchy. 
Wait a no. minute. Was there any? Did you? Did we talk about this? Were there? Were there ever any redheads, um, in the Philippines? No. Never. Right. You've never seen one. But okay. if you did see one, what would you guys do? You dig a hole. They you dig a hole. Yeah. I think Tito Andrew was the first one I've seen. I'm the first redhead you've ever seen in your life. Yeah. Oh, wow. How scary was that? I thought it was weird. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank. Okay. Yeah, I, right. Okay. Because yeah. you're used to it, you know. I mean, you see like the movies, right? You well, see, yeah, you see redheads on film. No, uh, you know, you see. Also, yeah, also, look, look, look. One of your favorite from uh, one of your favorite characters. He's a redhead. Oh yeah, no. He's no, but in a real life, like you know, at, when, when I was a kid, I would watch scary things like you know uh, Lucille Ball. Scary things. Yeah, because I love Lucy wasn't scary. It, it was a little a bit comedy because show. her. I know, but her hair was so red. It was so scary, <laughs> right? And then you would see like it, the first one. Yeah, y you're like, oh shit, oh, he's one of our. Heroes. And then when you see one for the first time, a redhead, right? Uh -huh. There is a shock to it. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, There's a little bit. Of like, a shock. ooh, that's real. We're a dying breed. There's only I, look up how many redheads are le are on Earth. I bet you there's. Let's guess how many how many redheads do you think are on Earth for real, <laughs> genuinely. 845 million. What? What an insanely bad guess. What? 845 million redheads? How could that be? You know how many people are in the how many people are in the United States? In the world you said, right? Yeah, but how many people are in the United States? 350 million. Yeah, exactly. So you think double the population of the United States is redheads? You're right. Let me take. Can I get? Can Please. I take that back? Yeah, because that's You're the dumbest right. math I've ever heard. I still. <laughs> it's insane. I just threw it out there. All right. Well, give me another one. <laughs> All right. Well, I drink my Guinness. Uh, I would say there is 183 million redheads on planet Earth. Okay, Rudy. What do you think? How many redheads are on planet Earth right now? Maybe like six percent. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is happening in here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Six percent of the Earth is redhead. Is that what you think? Yeah, yeah. maybe. Okay, six yeah. percent of the total population. I would say the number would be around like two and a half million redheads. Two million redheads on Earth. Two million? That's it. Yeah. Million? Can I can I adjust? One hundred and forty million. Less than two. Wow. So who was the closest? Well, I we, was. You, we were. I wrong. said one hundred eighty three million. You, you first guessed eight hundred million. <laughs> You first guessed 800 million I know, people. but my, my second guess, though, okay. which is the real guess, is I was the closest. 140 million people, that's approximately. Scotland boasts the highest percentage of natural redheads, with 13% of that country being redheads. Yeah, there we go. Wow. And they're treated the worst. Are they really? We're treated worse than any other kind of person on Earth. That's, uh, oh my 100%. God, really? Who's, who's lower than us? The Jews. What? In the history of time? Redheads in the history of time, we were persecuted as well. You guys were put in, in in concentration camps and put into fucking mass mass killings. Yep, <laughs> yep, they no. did it. Yeah, never, they did. Heard, never heard of it. Yes, they did. Look up the redhead genocide. Look at the ginger genocide. You've never heard of ginger there's no, genocide. There's a, is there a ginger? Yes, genocide? sir. Look up the the ginger uh, genocide. The ginger genocide. Oh, you know what? 1648. Northern Ireland was oppressed, right, by England. Of course. Yeah. So course. that's still something. a battle going on. Ginger, NRA, ginger NRA. genocide, right there. Click on it. What happened? There was a ginger genocide. A crime that will be committed in two, late 2009, early 2010 to exterminate all ginger bitches and their children. <laughs> in 2009? It didn't happen. We got, they it never happened. They didn't get us. Yeah. They planned the attack and we didn't, they didn't, it wasn't, it didn't happen. Yeah. You know why? We're too swift, baby. Yeah, but when I, when I look at um, Reddit people, I don't think, um, I just feel disgusted. Not, there's no feeling of like I want to hurt them or I want to oppress them. You feel bad for them? I don't feel bad for them. There I just I feel. I'm a little leprechaun. Who is that girl? Aunt Jennifer Aniston. Is it? Yeah, she was in the first one. In the original. Yeah. God, she looks the exact same now. Thirty years later, or whatever that is. Yeah, I love actors that like have done bad movies in the before they became. became what do you mean, Leprechaun was a great movie? Okay. Great movie. But it was cool to see like Johnny Depp in the first um, Nightmare on Elm Street. Another great movie. I don't know. You, you're referencing two great movies. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Nightmare on Elm Street is such stop, a stop, good stop, movie. Stop, stop, You're saying that Leprechaun. Correct. And N Nightmare on Elm Street is a cult classic. Sure. So right. is Leprechaun. No, it's not. not Leprechaun's not. Yes, it is. It the is? only reason we know about it is because it's a cult classic. Is it good? Should I, should I go watch it tonight? I would absolutely watch it again tonight. What's it about? It's about a leprechaun. No, but what happens? It's right in the title. <laughs> what happens, though? Maybe that's what is regular this? What size. Is this? 
This is a scene from Leprechaun. <laughs> are you being? Ki- are you kidding me? This is incredible. <laughs> how do you? How did you print this up so quickly? Oh shit! Wow, he's on top of it. So this is a part of the movie. So obviously, so I'm, who's Tor- is Tori Jennifer Aniston? Yes, yes. And Can you, I play? You you have to play the Leprechaun, obviously. Of course. <laughs> Yeah, Bob. <laughs> right. I'll play. I'll play. Corey. Okay, and then Rudy, you have to read the st- uh, the stage, stage directions. directions. Okay. Okay. This is the table read. Let's for- imagine this is the table read for Leprechaun. What year was Leprechaun? Nineteen in the nineties. Ninety-two. Had, yeah. Ninety-three. So ninety-three. So here we go. All right, stage. Okay, so this is the table read for Leprechaun. Thanks all for coming, and Rudy Jules, take it away. Well, let let, let okay, the writer well. let, let the writer have a little announcement. They sometimes do that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm. I'll just play the writer as well. Hi, I'm Cliff uh, Fitzsimmons. <laughs> Cliff Miss Fitzsimmons. Cliff Mick, Mick Fitzsimmons. Mick Fitzsimmons. <laughs> yeah, I'm Cliff Mick Fitzsimmons. <laughs> I just said that. <laughs> That's my name. Mm-hmm. And I uh, thank you. S- welcome to um, my m- movie that I wrote called Leprechaun. What a film! And ex- inspiration was um, I lived in Ireland for many many years. Well, you grew up there, right, Cliff? Yes, I did. And when did you move to the United States, Cliff? In the '83. 1983. In 1983? Yeah. During, what, brought, what brought you to the States? Um, the desire to make... I'm a filmmaker. I'm a writer. And you didn't want to do anything over there. Was There was nothing going on. There's nothing going on. It's, a, it's fucked up over there. A lot of redheads. So um, here we... And I... This... <laughs> this, <laughs> this movie is um, just from dear to my heart because it reminds me of my childhood. Yeah. Back on the rolling hills of uh, Dublin. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, wonderful. Well, um, uh, so, sir... B- Sir, sir, please take it away. Yeah, well, I'm the writer. That's the director. Oh my God, you're yeah. the director of the film. What is your name again? Just announce yourself. I'm Jose. <laughs> <laughs> Jose. Okay. Jose. Jose. What? Hispanic, Jose. What? A hairy face, a Hispanic guy. Jose. What? The fucking movie. Jose. Archnold. Archnold. <laughs> Jose Archnold. Ladies and gentlemen, Jose, Jose Archnold. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right, Jose. Right, well, why don't you take us through the film? Here we go. <clears throat> Tori holds a bag of gold. The leprechaun magically appears. Is that me, gold? What the hell are you? I'm a leprechaun, me dear. Here, this is what you're looking for, right? Tori holds out the bag of gold. The leprechaun uses magic to bring it to his hand. My powers are returning. The cut, leprechaun. Cut, cut. What's going on? I wrote it as me. I'm sorry? It's me powers are returning, not mine. <laughs> so. Okay, uh, stage direction, go ahead. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry Please about that. Please read it again. Sorry. Right. Tori holds out the bag of gold. The leprechaun uses magic to bring it to his hands. What the fuck? What? In table reads, they don't have a fucking a, a gopher. Or... What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> It's a table read. This is we're not rehearsing the Interrupting fucking movie. Interrupting a table read. It's oh just my insane. Jesus, fuck it. All right, let's start from the top. Let's go. Let's go again. Go, let's start from the uh, top. Jose. Uh, Jose. Oh, so can I just I, since I wrote it? Yeah. It's Cliff here. So hey, Cliff. Yeah. Hey, hey. So um, can you play it more real? Maybe. A little bit more real. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No problem. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, Jose. Jose. It's say me. your it's say me. your last name again. Archnold. Archnold. <laughs> Jose Archnold. <laughs> Jose Archnold, the director. Yeah. Go ahead, Jose. When you're ready. And I am Cliff. McFitzsimmons. <laughs> yeah, I know Mr. McFitzsimmons. I am aware of Thank who you are. Toy holds out the bag of gold. The leprechaun magically appears. Real? That's... No, this is way too old. It's it's way old. What says magically appears? Just, <laughs> just, just play the leprechaun that? real, as real as you can. Okay. Toy holds out a bag of gold. Just the play. leprechaun magically appears. Very good. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Is that me, Gold? <laughs> what the hell are you? I'm a leprechaun, me dear. There we go. Here, this is what you're looking for, right? Tori holds out the bag of gold. The leprechaun uses magic to bring it to his hands. Me powers are returning. The Bingo. leprechaun shakes the bag. <laughs> it sounds like me, Gold. The leprechaun opens the bag. It looks like me gold. <laughs> the leprechaun smells the bag. It smells like a less, a little, me gold. A, a, a little less, please. The leprechaun Thank tastes you. the gold. <laughs> it tastes like me gold. Okay, I, 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 you're fired. Why? It's it's your. I'm the leprechaun. How I know you're, you you're fired. Leprechaun. We have Matthew McConaughey. 
He, he, here. Yeah, yeah. Does that mean gold? There we go. Let's do it with Matthew. Go oh, ahead. No, Matthew, man. All right. So don't even do the H changer. First line. Go ahead, Matthew. Hey, does that mean gold, man? <laughs> does that mean gold, man? Yeah, what the hell are you? I'm, I'm a, I'm, I'd be a leprechaun, my dear. Here, this is what you're looking for, right? Ooh. <laughs> my powers are returning. <laughs> Before the next line, can you say, all right, all right? Yeah. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> looks like me gold. That's right. In fact, say all right, all right. For all right, all right. It looks life. like me gold. Yeah. Leprechaun smells the bag. All right, all right. <laughs> it smells like me gold. Oh, you're hired, Matthew. Thank you. Amazing. Why don't you play the leprechaun then? If you don't like the way that I'm playing the leprechaun, why don't you play it and I'll play Tori? Because I wrote the fucking. I'm not an actor. I'm fucking Cliff McClendon. Neither am I. Obviously, you just fired me off the movie. Uh, sorry. All right, so you play the leprechaun. Okay, no, I'll... you know what? You play the leprechaun. I'm I Tori. can't do the. Yes, you can. I can't do the accent. Yes, you can. I'll try it. Go ahead and read it again, uh, George. Uh, uh, Jorge. Uh, what is it? Oh, say, say Archnold. Archnold. And don't. And where the fuck do you get Archnold from? I where didn't... would that even? You're, where does your brain. Archnold? Hi, hi Cliff McS- McFist Simmons. I know, here. Mr. McFist Simmons. I, 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 We're going to get to you in a second. No, but it's my culture to always. You let me say my name first, all right? Okay. So hi, I'm Cliff Simmons. Hi. So I just want to let you know that you're degrading our ethnic immigrant. He's an immigrant director. I'm glad he for did the a short film. I just don't understand that how went to I... Sundance. And what's the, the the movie you did for Sundance? What did you the do? The short film about the uh, Mexican immigrants crossing the border. Go. What was that that beautiful movie that? Clap. The boat. Clap the boat. <laughs> you never saw Clap the boat. Are you telling me you directed Clap the boat? That was your film. Clap yeah, the Boat was you. Clap, clap the Boat. That's one of the when best movies I've ever seen in my life. I know. Do you know what the movie's about? Tell them what the movie's about. I know Clap the Boat. Yeah, I, I love I, Clap just, the Boat. Yeah, the movie's about the, these Mexican immigrants, they want, they're trying to cross the border, correct? Yeah. yeah. Right? And, they're, and they don't know how... Right, they're because trying to figure out how to make it happen. They're trying to dig a hole underneath the wall, uh, in the wall, right? Trump's wall. They try to go over it. Right, wall. they try to go over it, right? Yep. And then, right? Yeah. Your main lead, what's his name? Who's the lead actor of that the, movie? Yeah, the, 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 the boat. Yeah, it was. Yeah, 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 it was. What was the lead actor? Uh, Alexandra. 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 <sighs> Ocaccio. Ocaccio. Alexandra Ocaccio, right? Alexandra, she builds a boat. She's so good. She, she's so good. So it? good. So good in the movie. Alexandra Ocaccio. She builds a boat, right? And then what do they do when she builds a boat? <laughs> and Clap there the boat. wasn't a dry eye in the theater. It was I'll tell you that. There wasn't a dry. Honestly, I'm not even. I know I'm not joshing around anymore. Yeah, clap the boat was one of the best movies I've ever seen in my entire well, life. Well, then give. Then, then don't talk to I'm him that way. I'm not being rude to him. All right. Okay, her to, to him. Go ahead. <laughs> All right, sir. Can you please read the direction so we can get through the scene of Leprechaun okay. where Boob is playing Lep and I'm playing Tori. Okay, Tori holds a bag of gold. The Leprechaun magically appears. Does that make gold? <laughs> Fuck. What the hell are you? I'm a luck Leprechaun, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> Here. <laughs> That's terrible. This is what you're looking for, right? Tori. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Tori holds out the bag of gold. The leprechaun uses magic to bring it to his hands. Me powers are returning. Ripple? What is that? <laughs> That's what you're doing. The leprechaun shakes the bag. It sounds like me gold. <laughs> the leprechaun opens the bag. It looks like me gold. <laughs> the leprechaun smells the it bag. It smells like me gold. The what? leprechaun tastes it the tastes gold. It tastes like my gold. The leprechaun kisses toy. All right. Um, oh, God. Oh, oh, God. Oh, oh, God. You know, Arch, is that your name? No, Jose? That's Jose. Yeah. Jose, I think you should play. I think you should, <laughs> I think Jose should do the leprechaun. <laughs> no. yeah, 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 yeah. I think yeah, and, yeah, we're, and we're try not gonna, to do an yeah. Irish accent. Yeah. I we we taught you. I just you. fucking we, did it. We taught you how to do Irish Cliff stuff. McS- Wait, Cliff Mc, McFitzsimmons here. But Mr. McFitzsimmons, <laughs> if I may speak for Mr. McFitzsimmons, he did give it his best effort. And sir, you're directing this movie. We'd love to see how you would take it. I don't Sometimes know how to do the to accent. Yes, you yes. you got to step into the you shoes of the try, actors. Try to do it, and you know what I mean. Yeah, you should. So, look, I'll be, do the stage directions if you don't mind. You play uh, Tori. I'll be Tori as, yeah. Okay. Tori holds a bag of gold. The leprechaun magically appears. Is that me gold? Pretty good. Pretty good. What the hell are you? I'm a leprechaun, my dear. <laughs> 
<laughs> Here, is this what you're looking for? Tori holds right? out the bag of gold. The leprechaun uses magic to bring it to his hands. My powers are returning. <laughs> <laughs> the leprechaun shakes the bag. It's so hard. Keep going. It's it sounds like my gold. <laughs> the leprechaun opens the bag. It looks like my gold. <laughs> the leprechaun smells the bag. It smells like my gold. Very good. Give her a round of applause. Very good. Hey, you should direct it and star. Doordash. Hey. Did you forget that one thing at the store? Now you can get snacks, drinks, household essentials in 30 minutes with Door Can I Dash. say something right now? Because you yeah. know sometimes they give us the this, this stuff to say. Yeah. And I like to say personal things. All right. When I was in Hawaii, and you know I was trying to because I was in a hotel room and the hotel food is terrible. It's so gross. And so I was just like trying to find like you know an app, and the fastest and the variety. The best variety by far, by far, is DoorDash. DoorDash, they're by so far is the best. quick. They have a lot of drivers, and they're just so much nicer and prompt. Every, every time I order food off off DoorDash, oh, the I best. get it exactly when I need it and when I want it. Three hundred thousand partners in the U.S., Puerto Rico, Canada, Australia. Uh, look, Bob's been great during the pandemic of mm -hmm. making sure that he's supporting local businesses. How you eat out three times a day, right? And you order everything to your house. Also, they have over three hundred thousand partners in the U.S., Puerto yeah. Rico, Canada, Australia, and you can support your neighborhood go tos or choose from your favorite national restaurants like Popeyes, Popeyes Chipotle, Chipotle, and Chipotle. Cheesecake Factory. Cheesecake. Uh, it's very easy. Ordering is so easy. Open the DoorDash app. Choose what you want. Click clack clook outside your door. It's going to be there with contactless delivery drop off. You guys. Get real. And For a limited time, our listeners can get 25% off and zero delivery fees on their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter the code BADFRIENDS2021. That's 25% off, up to a $10 value, zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter the code BADFRIENDS2021. Don't forget that's code <laughs> BADFRIENDS2021 for 25% off your first order with DoorDash. Subject to change. Terms apply. Liquid, Liquid IV. IV. This is my favorite um, so supplement good. in the it's whole so world. Good. Dude, it's like, forget water. Yeah. Why right? are you just drinking water? Yeah, yeah. I drink Liquid IV. I love the flavors. It love. does so much for your body. The energy multiplier is my favorite because it's a game changer. You, it gives they me a They don't send me enough of it. Send more. Send me more. We can agree 2020 was a little bit rough. It's time to come clean. Get Liquid IV in your body. Yeah, okay? I, I love Liquid IV. Upgrade your water, right? Will you change the way you drink and hydrate? Uh, we yeah. love the, I love the taste, and I also love the energy boost. You kind of like the, the late night stuff. You oh, like I to love have the, late, the late night sleep. Yeah, sleep. It's my favorite. Um, I like the energy multiplier because it gets me It should me be a up. food group. It should be a food group. The fifth Put food it group. on the pyramid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's call the pyramid people uh, and put it on there. Uh, the premium matcha green energy oh, that's uh, my it blend is delicious, provides lasting energy throughout the day. Yeah. You get uh, the same boost you get from a couple cups of coffee. No crash. No crash. You stay high. It's a healthy alternative, by the way. And it's got that CTT, that cellular transport technology, Enhanced baby. Enhanced rapid absorption into the bloodstream gives you a lasting energy boost fast. This powers. stuff's good, man. you got to try Liquid Real IV. Powers. If you haven't tried it. Please try it. Grab your uh, grab your energy liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco oh or God. get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com liquid and, and use the code, code bad friends at checkout. That's right. 25% off anything you order. Use the promo code bad friends at liquidiv.com. Start fueling your adventures today at liquidiv.com. Promo code bad, bad friends. friends. Bob, do you know? Can I tell you something? Go ahead. You're fa you know, you're famous on other podcasts so much bigger than you even know. What do you mean? You were mentioned. I, I sent this to the guys. You got mentioned on one of the most famous race car drivers. He was on a podcast, and he, they talked about you of all time. Dale Earnhardt okay, Jr. Okay, can I just say this, though? Dale I Earnhardt I love Dale, Jr. by the way. Yeah, oh, you should, because he loves you. But can I just— I don't know if this is his show. But I, if you're going to— I've, I've, I've been depressed all day. Th they talk about you on I, this. I've been depressed all day, so— if this is slamming me, it's I'll not, take it. It's not slamming you. But it's going to add on to my depression. It's not slamming you. Uh, Drace, is this slamming him? No. Go no. ahead. Brace him. Look at this. They Go talk ahead. about you. I'm like, Blaney just walked into this room <laughs> with Magnum P.I. There was somebody else that was famous in, in, in that scene. There was that Ken Jong, the guy from The Hangover. That's right. Yes. That's right. Uh, <laughs> and there was a... Um... <laughs> Hey man, it was a great scene of Magnum P.I., dude. 
Hey, let me tell did, you something. Can I say something right now? <laughs> you know that Ken did the show, right? I know, but they think it's you. No. They he think did the it's sh- you. He did the show way before I did. No, they think it's you, Papa. I sort of got it. No, they that's not why you. he knows it's Ken. No Dunn. way. They think it's you. The reason... <sighs> when did Ken do some... Magnum P.I.? I swear to God he did it. When? I swear to God he Google did it. Google it. Did Ken do Magnum? I swear to God he did it. You the reason why it. I did it, and I can talk to... Listen, <laughs> all right? Uh, let's call Gene Hong. Okay, call him. Gene Hong is the producer of Magnum P.I., okay. one of them. Okay. And I'll call him right now. Okay? You okay, fuck. Call okay, And you're going to look like a fucking fool right now. I didn't put that <laughs> clip. <laughs> because I, 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 he's really mentioning Ken Jung in it, and it's like, why would that be a slam on me? When he... Hey, buddy. Hey, Gene. This is I'm, I'm on my podcast, Bad Friends, real quick, and um, I just have to ask you a question. Okay. Was did Ken Jung did Magnum PI before I was on it, right? Yeah. There we go. That's all I wanted to hear. But, Thank you but, so but, much. But 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 whose performance was better, Ken or Bobby? No, don't say. Whose don't answer that. Whose performance was Gene. better, Ken or Bobby? I love you, Gene. Gene, Gene, right, answer. I'll talk to you later, Gene. Gene I love you. Thank Gene. you. Gene. I'll talk to you later. You, you're. So how funny is that bit now? Let's play it again. <laughs> All right, you try to slam me. That wasn't me. Yeah, I have nothing to do with the clip. Yeah, it's like if if Bill Burr did Magnum PI, right, and you did it before him, and some guys got I saw Andrew Santino on the first show. First of all, how the fuck would that? First of all, yeah, neither Bill nor myself would do Magnum PI. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> <laughs> what, what, did that tickle your fancy bone? Yes, it did. <laughs> First of all, I'd be lucky to be on Magnum PI. Thank it's you. a great piece of television, and I think you do a great job every time you're every time you're on the show. Uh-huh. Every time you're on the show, anyway, you kill I, it. I love the way that backfired. Uh, yeah, it feels so good. Well, that way that to ruin a bit for the show. <laughs> what do we? What the fuck did you want me to do? Go along with it? Uh huh. No, <laughs> I will not. Now it's a good fight back. It was a good fight back. I, I'm I like glad. winning. I'd rather win to get laughs. <laughs> okay. I'd rather win. Right? Yeah. An argument. Well, for you. That's been your yeah, whole yeah, career. Yeah, yeah. And I love how that backfired on you. And let's just sit on that for a second. Let's sit on the fact. Let's sit <laughs> on Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have so nothing you to do did with a the bit. clip. You did a bit, right? No, it's not me. To I have nothing to do me, with it. Right? I have nothing to do right? with it. And it backfired in your stupid redheaded face. <laughs> I'm taking, my, taking my best off now. I'm take taking my, off, be- I'm my best take off. Take off your vest. Yeah. Oh, I love it. I love it. Jules got into UC Riverside. Let's give it up for Jules. Clap the boat. Clap the boat. And what other schools are you tr- applying to? Um, there's still a lot. I'm still waiting for. Um... What do you? Where's the one you want to go to, Jules? What's the one that you're like? I really want to get into. Um, I'm waiting for Long Beach, but I've heard that there's a lot of pe- students who have Long been, Beach State. Yeah, rejected. Home of the dirtbags. That's what they're called, the dirtbags. Do you know that? Yeah. The pyramid. You're gonna get in. You're so f- smart. You're gonna get in. You're gonna get in. This is the this is weird. It's not even my kid, but I feel like she's a part of my family, and so now I get a little anxious about her getting into school. Really? It just feels. Un- oh. I want her to win. Can we so write bad. A, write a letter to the sc- any school that she? <laughs> oh yeah, can we do that? What if we do a video submission to your school? Yeah, can we do that? I don't know. What up, Long Beach State? <laughs> How? I mean, can we can we help in any way? I don't know. No, they don't give a shit about us. I like yeah. to promote uh, a new podcast. <sighs> It's called Blood Bath. Bath. That's one of the reasons why that's like my favorite role play is always 1800s. Because before that, they didn't use their hands. Everything was like bobbing for apples. You do century based. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You do century based role playing? Yeah, you have to really go back in time. You look at, you look like, you look at the whole stretch of history and then you choose a point in time and then you use that as. As you know, a jump off point historical. for whatever historical rule. Do you have play. to do research beforehand? Okay. It's one of my favorite new podcasts. It's called Bloodbath. Kalila, Annie Letterman, and Esther Pavitsky yeah. do a great show called Bloodbath. Yes. I openly said how much I liked it on my show. I too. like it a lot and I like their chemistry. Yeah, so it's please awesome. tune in. Tune in and watch it. Yeah. Um it's actually very good. I said to Kalila, I thought it was very good. And the and the one the what there's one thing I don't like about it. Hmm. What do you think that is, George? Yeah, yeah. The fact that he has anything to do with it is annoying to me. Well, what's annoying about George is is that he's well. Let's not... go down the list. Well, I'll tell you. Let's start. I have you, a big you, list. So you do one, I'll do one. You do one, I'll do one. Go. Uh-huh. Let's go as fast as we can. Go. He, he, well, no, because I have to. When I say his face. Th- go ahead. Oh, that's a good one. Um, he's his laugh. Go ahead. Deceiver. Um. 
Manipu- Opportunist. Manipulator. Opportunistic. Uh, not as tall as he says he is. Yeah. Um, <laughs> weasel. Two, two left feet. Yeah. Two left nuts. Uh, blind in his left eye. Yeah. Um, <laughs> aneurysms. Fake wife. Yeah. <laughs> Paid for wife. Bad breath. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, did what? you see the Heaven's Gate documentary? Have we talked about that yet? No. You know what Heaven's Gate is? No. You don't know what Heaven's Gate is? I know what the gate would be when I get to heaven. I know what that <laughs> I is. I know, I know. But there was the group of people. It was a cult. Okay. It was a cult of people, yeah. right? And in the 90s, they were found somewhere in San Diego, right? Yeah. They, were all, they had all committed suicide. This is, the, th- is this the Kool-Aid? No, they so they thought that so there was a there was a comet coming. I think it was Haley's comet. Right? Yeah, Haley's comet. Right, and so they thought that that they were all going to kill the, in, themselves, right? And then they were going to enter a spaceship that was at the end of Haley's comet, right? Oh wow! Right, and then they were going to go to heaven that way, right? But it's been a cult that's been around since the seventies. How did they kill? How did they suicide each other? They drank some sort of potion. Cool, Kool Aid. That was the whole thing. They yeah, it was Kool Aid. But then they yeah. had. All they all had Nikes on. Right? Why they love and they Nikes. also had a they also had a roll of coins like quarters. Cortez, they wore Cortez. Yeah, they had quarters. Mm. Did they not have quarters? Yeah, but yeah. I forget what the quarters were for. I think it's in heaven. You need, and then they all has they Wait, all there's vending machines. Yeah, in like to get into heaven, <laughs> and then also um, you need a roll of quarters to get into heaven. What an insane idea! <laughs> I know, but they had it right. And then they also my castrated son. themselves. It's good to see you, my castrated son. Castrated themselves. Do you have the role of quarters? <laughs> they yeah. all castrated themselves? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they all cut off their genitalia. They, no, the they, men they, cut off their genitalia. They're nuts, I think. Right. Not castrated. What do they call that? That's um, castrated. They're, they're nutsack? That's castrated. Yeah, yeah. When so you they, cut off your source of yeah. reproductive... Uh, and... But one of them... Why would you... Imagine someone saying, to get into heaven, you have to cut off your nuts. I know. What would you say? I'm going to hell. Three I'm guys. Cutting off my fucking no, nuts. No, 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 no. Three guys th- who had been a part of the cult for many, many years. Yeah. Went, n- n- that's the line. Yeah. I'm in, but I'm out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to keep my balls. Yeah, let me have my balls, right? But so, but one of the guys. Like, imagine if they said they were going to lop off one of your boobs. What would you, if they say you can get ultimate freedom in heaven, but they're going to lop off a boob, what would you say? I'll ignore them. Yeah. But would you still stay in the cult? I wouldn't be in a cult. You would. What do you're you mean? in one now. You're in one now. <laughs> this is Bad a cult. Is a Bad friends is worth without a doubt. And you're one of the leaders. No. <laughs> yeah, 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 the By leader. the way, when she squints her eyebrows and says no, it's so funny with those big. Bu- that's li- that's what I look like every day of my life. Yeah. All right there. The yeah. big bushy eyebrows. <laughs> Ship station. Y'all, y'all know how we get our stuff out to the public. Y'all know how we sell online. Yeah. Y'all know we, how we, we sell that merch? Y'all don't know we use ShipStation. Will you be using ShipStation? We love it. It's the, it's, if you sell stuff online, guys, you're definitely in the right business. And more people are shopping online more than ever. That's right. That means a lot of orders coming in and a lot of orders you'll need to be shipping out fast. And that's, that's right. why online sellers like you need ShipStation. Tell them more. No matter what you're selling, ShipStation makes it super easy to manage all of your orders uh, you know, you you get them faster, cheaper, and more efficiently uh, from one place. Import orders from sales channels, ship with any single carrier. Honestly, uh, no all matter, that aside, Bob and I use yeah. Bob and I use that for this show. No matter what you're selling, Amazon, Etsy, your own website, ShipStation funnels all your orders into one simple interface. Yeah, and I'm sorry to interrupt you, right? But that's how excited I get about ShipStation. You do, yeah, yeah, you do. You'll even get access to amazing discounts with major carriers like uh, UPS. FedEx, USPS. Easily compare carriers and choose the best solutions every time. That's right. ShipStation small business can now access the same rates, usually reserved for Fortune 500 companies without the contracts or the commitments. Guys, ship more in less time. Use the offer code BADFRIENDS. Get a 60-day free trial. Two months free. No hassle. Stress-free shipping. Go to ShipStation.com. Click on the microphone at the top of the page and type in Bad Friends. ShipStation.com. Click the mic. Type in Bad Friends. ShipStation.com. Enter the code Bad Friends. Make... Make ship, ship happen. happen. Stitch, Stitch fix. fix. This is my favorite thing in the love, whole world. Love, my friend. love, oh love. Oh my god! I Online love it. shopping is a nightmare, and you don't know it. what to buy. I hate it because you know you go to fifteen different apps, right? Yeah. And you go, you, you, you're indecisive. Stitch Fix does it all for you. Send in it right one to your building. door. 
They send it right to your door. Right. So yeah. what, what they do is they send you, you fill out, you know, what you like or you don't a like. A survey. A survey, right? Yeah. And all of a sudden you get a magical box. Mm-hmm. And that's what I call a magic box. Magic <laughs> box. Right. You open it up and then you go, oh, they know what I want. Exactly. I like this. I like this. It's hand this selected. This one, not so much, but then you can send it back. All you need to do is put the stuff that you don't want back in there. Yeah. Whoosh, send it right back. There's no subscription needed, my friend. Try yep. t- Stitch Fix once or set up automatic deliveries. You pay $20 for a styling fee for each box, which gets credited toward pieces you'll keep, and there's no hidden fees ever. Stitch Fix has styles and clothing to fit any occasions for, like, women, men, and kids, and they ship all over the U.S. and available in the U.K. as well. Hey, man. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. New clothes. Honestly, it's so great. They they compile something handcrafted by a stylist to give you a box of stuff that Mm -hmm. guaranteed you're going to like because you told them what you like and what you don't like. Get started today at stitchfix.com slash badfriends, and you'll get 25% off when you keep everything Everything. inside of your fix. That's great. Stitchfix.com. Slash bad, bad friends. friends. I have to say it again. I love this company so much. Stitchfix.com Stitch slash bad, bad friends. friends for 25% off when you keep everything in your fix. Stitchfix.com slash bad, bad friends. friends. Why? It's just, why do these cults have to have so many weird rules to get into heaven? I saw the thing, there was an, a thing online. Maybe Vice did a whole thing about the woman, um, Mother God. Do you know the Mother God? Do you know this woman? Look up Mother God. This woman here who's like an alcoholic and it's here. I think it's here in LA. Like mother god, do mother god cult? Yeah, that's it. Cult leader. This this woman bonk absolute bonkers out of her mind, and she says she's the reincarnation of God a million times over. She's just like an alcoholic, and these people bought into this shit. And you you listen to some of these interviews, you can't believe yeah. in, intellectual people would do it because they're educated, like they're adults. I know, are, man. And they got sucked in, and I don't know you, you. There's no way to know how. I don't know how they get. How do you think? What's the thing that gets people into these things? It's well, usually cults get people when trauma. Yeah, when somebody is in a crossroads in their life, like for instance, right. like my girl. I've caught my girlfriend cheating on me, right? And so she just this, broke up with me, right? right? And then the next day, and then you pray. No, this is real. They pray like to God or whatever, uh, like please give me a sign, right? And then the next day, some guy with like. Alien ears shows up at your door and goes, bop, bop, bop. you know what I mean? Bop, bop, bop. Yes. Yes. A beep, beep, bop, bop, bop. Will you please join my call? Yes. And they're, they think that that's a sign from God right. that they should do it. You can look for a sign can be anything. I can name you 10 things that happened today that if you wanted them to be a sign, they would be a sign. Yeah, but I, that, that's I, my whole point. No, I, do, I do believe coincidence happens for a reason. No, cut it out, will you? <laughs> you mil- <laughs> Bob. No, I do believe that. You believe in fate or you believe in coincidence? I coincidence coincidence and fate are two different things. For a reason. So you believe in fate? I do. You Can think- I tell you a story? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm putting on my seatbelt. No, no. It's, a, it's not a funny story. What? What is it, though? But can I just tell you what my point? Ask Rudy. Rudy, may I? Yeah. Why? Why are you so disappointed in it? Why, why no one's disappointed? There's just no enthusiasm at all. You're like, yeah. Ask Fuck me. you. I'm Rudy. Ask me if you can tell the story. Yeah, can this I tell a story, please? Yeah. <laughs> so unhappy. Exactly. So, so unhappy. I'm not going to tell the story now. That sucks. No, please tell it. All right. So this is why I believe this is going to. So when I um. When I was 17 years old, people know my story, but when I was 17 years old, yeah. I got sober. Yeah. And I went to this place called the McDonald Center, which is a rehab. From from Ronald McDonald. I think Ronald McDonald, the McDonald. Yeah, they, the McDonald's Foundation does. For, yeah, yeah, they, they do. Yeah, so, right? Yeah. But I never saw a clown. All right. So I, and they didn't serve fucking McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anybody thinks that they wanna, do that. I just want to th- just throw that out there. Get sober and have a Big Mac. <laughs> <laughs> If you look at my Instagram, early on in my Instagram, there's a yeah. photo of me uh, when I, the first day I was at the McDonald's, they're wearing my um, fatigues. Not fatigues, what do they call them? Um, fatigues is like an army. No, shirt. not fatigues. What do you call them? The uh, medical. Like a gown? Like, like a what? gown. Oh, wow. I was wearing like a medical Wait, gown. Why do they put you in that? You can't just do regular clothes, huh? No, in the beginning, they, no, because it's a hospital. It was a Scripps hospital, right? Oh, Scripps. Yeah, so I'm like in a gown deto- and I'm really detox. sick. I'm detoxing. Yeah, right. that makes sense. So there's a photo of me just, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm here. You know what I mean? Dude, how funny. You're detoxing all like twerking out in the background on a McDonald's like, hey! <laughs> 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 no, 
right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. McDonald's, McDonald's <laughs> wants to help you get sober. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Twerking out and drooling. Yeah. So okay. then, um, so you go to so I go there and I, you know, I meet this um, Korean man. Mm. Because when I was in rehab, I said, um, there aren't, oh, I've been to A meetings. I, I lied. And I said, mm. you know, you never see Asians. You never see Asians in recovery. So what, what, you know what I mean? I don't think that I am one. You, what do you mean? You don't think I don't think I'm a drug addict. Right. You don't think right? I was addict. using all these, you know. Right. Excuses. Yeah. Defense mechanisms. Correct. And um, so one day this guy shows up and he's wearing, he has tattoos to his wrists. Uh-huh. Right. And he had an accent because he came here when he was 14 years old from Korea. He goes, hi. <laughs> That's what we, I'm Dan. That's his name, Dan. I'm your sponsor. And it, he saved my life. You don't get to pick your sponsor. This time I didn't. I he that he showed. I didn't. He didn't say. He, it was just like, I could have said no, but I just said, yeah. I think this is. Right. He, that's not that. That's not the coincidence. Was he part. scary though? At first he was. Yeah, he had white hair. Yeah, yeah, but you know he like Luke. He Kang. became. It looked like uh, yeah, like, like Mortal Kang. Kombat. Yeah, and he um really came my father. You know, like a father figure. He saved my life. Like when I was seventeen. I had missed so much school, right, that my senior year, I, I got sober and I, I came back and they were like, you have to take a zero period, a lunch period, and night classes for you to graduate. There's no way you can do it. So I called Dan, I'll do another year, and Dan goes, no, you're doing it. So I show up, zero period, lunch period, and I did all that, yeah. and I graduated yeah. with my class, okay? And then... I got out of the, I got out of high school and you know I would go to meetings. He was my sponsor, this and that. And then what ended up happening was I started doing stand up when I was twenty three years old in La Jolla, mm -hmm. right at the store. At the store, and I stopped going to meetings. So I slowly lost all their numbers. You just stopped talking. I stopped talking. I stopped going to meetings. Right. And I just started. Just show business was it. All I did was hang out with the shores or. You know what I mean? Did open mics. You know what I mean? It was everything. Yeah. And I did that for many, many years. It got to the point where I didn't even see myself. I wasn't drinking or doing drugs, but I didn't even see myself as a dr drug addict or alcoholic anymore. Okay? Just a performer. Yeah. And I had nothing. It was just like a, something about my past when I was a young guy. Right. Right. So then when I, I got Mad TV, I relapsed. Okay? For the, for the celebration. Yeah. What? It's from the celebration. No, from the I hated it. The there. stress and the pressure. Because when I showed up at Mad TV, the first thing one of the producers said is, "I just don't think that you're funny." Right. He called me in his office and he goes, "I don't think that you're funny." What's his name? I'm not going to say his name. What's his name? I'm not, What's we'll his name? I'll talk to you later about. No, it. but he said he doesn't think you're funny. Call him the fuck out. Who is he? Where the fuck is he now? No, because he later. Where the became, fuck is he now? He li he's a big producer. Oh, he is. Yeah, and he on what? What are you getting so angry about? I'm just telling you a fucking story. I don't like him talking <laughs> shit. I know. So he goes, I don't think you're funny. I don't think you're right for the show. And when he said that, I just, you know, it just, and I could see like his group of writers and whatever not write me shit, right? And there mm -hmm. were many shows where I couldn't even get on, right? And it was just terrible. Mm -hmm. So I just did drugs, right? So two years on that show, I did drugs, right? And then they fired me, okay? And I ended up, Right in some detox back in San Diego, right back where I started. Okay, I didn't have a car, and also it was one of those hippie places where they only fed you like organic foods, no meat, and wheatgrass, like a wheatgrass farm, where they used to put colonic wheatgrass colonic in your ass. And I was detoxing off a Viking, and so I'd wake up like shaking with green fucking wheatgrass squirting out of my asshole. In a bathroom, completely naked, shaking with no like do medical. There was a me no medical. It was like a hippie farm. Yeah. There was no medical facility. Right. And I just knew that I just needed something. You know what I mean? I needed a recovery, like a real recovery. So one night, I fucking escaped. Right. I I I had a little bit of money, and it was two in the morning. I had to climb a fifty foot wall, like like a old school wall in a forest. Right, what's so funny? It's just what is yeah, it's crazy. It's facility with fifty foot wall. Yeah, it was like, like a fifty foot in a forest. It, it was in the forest. Right, right. And I climbed this wall uh -huh. and I ran down like three miles down the hill. <laughs> right, 
and I see like a freeway, and then beyond the freeway, I see Vons, a grocery store. Yes, for 24 people hours, that don't know, yeah. Right? Yeah. So I run it. I run into this Vons, and I'm dirty. You know what I mean? I'm wearing like hospital garb on, right? Mm-hmm. And I, I'm in the fruit section. Of course, where else would you be? Right to get an <laughs> apple. Right. I pick up an apple. I get a tap on my shoulder. It's Dan. No. No. But fuck. It's Dan's friend. <laughs> 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 Sorry, the perfect purport of that story would be it's Dan. No, it's Dan's friend. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody that knows Dan. Sorry, go ahead. Let me finish. Yes, a green apple or a red apple, by the way. A red one. Yeah, Fuji. I like delicious. Fuji, Fuji, Fuji. Yes. Oh, delicious. Yeah, yeah, I like red delicious. Mm. So I turn around and, I go, and he goes, hey, it's me, Will. Hey, Will. And I kind of vaguely remember him. And I go, oh, shit, you're Dan's friend. You know, and you go, yeah, I'm sober. You know, that's how I knew him from sobriety. Sure. And he goes, it's so weird that you're here because this is what he said. He goes, I was speaking at a meeting in Arizona, right? Huh. And I was driving down the, the eight, right? And something told me to pull over here. Like at the grocery store. Yeah. I, there's no reason why I'm here. I go, oh, that's weird. He goes, and I see you. And I go, oh, and he goes, you want Dan's number? So he gives me Dan's number, right? The next day, Dan and all my old AA people, right, start picking me up from this place to take me to meetings. Wow. Okay? So that's why I believe in, I do, I believe in coincidences. Wow. Yeah. And it saved my life. I got so, I, I, I stayed sober for 17 years after that. Wow. Mm -hmm. Do you want to get us? <laughs> you have to throw in a joke. You have to throw in a joke. Can I tell you, Mike? I, I, no, I, I know. You so mean, do, no, that's actually you, a beautiful story. Can I, I? I no. I believe in. I believe in certain things. I don't understand why the universe throws stuff at us. I'll, I'll tell you one, but I'm going to keep it private, be for the sake of the person that the story is sure. about. But the girl, a girl that my high school girlfriend, um, I hadn't spoken to her obviously in God knows how long. Right? I was going to do a gig, and I flew. This was like. Um, Marco Island, Florida. Remember Marco Island, mm. the gig, you know? The, yeah, that gig, yeah. yeah. I always said no to that gig. Yeah, I said yes a lot. <laughs> and I needed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I flew into Miami, and then I drove, I was rented a car to drive there. Yeah. And on the way, I thought, oh, we, well, I lost my virginity in Marco Island, Florida, uh -huh. to my high school girlfriend. Really? Swear to God. Uh-huh. And so on the way there. Did it feel good? No. No, I, I cried the whole time. <laughs> and on the way there, um, for some reason in my head, I was like, I should give her a call. I haven't talked to her in so long. But uh -huh. I was like, actually, I don't have her number on my phone. It's uh -huh. been 20-some-odd years. I remembered her phone number. I don't, I can't tell you how. I can't tell you why. I don't remember anybody's phone number. Mm. I don't know. I remembered her phone number. Wow. It came to me. I called her phone number. And, I, and she picked up, which was even crazier. Like on the second ring, and she said, "What's up?" And I said, "I'm can, not making a joke." Can I just add some real, something real quick? Real Go quick? ahead. If you're making this up, I'm going to be very furious. I swear to God, in my life, I'm not. Okay, I'm just saying at the end, if you if you go gotcha, right? No, it's going to make me very furious. <laughs> I promise, I'm not. All right, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, right, I'm not. To, it's actually swear it's, to God, then go on. It's actually not a happy ending. But All right, so you so so I called her. It's not a happy ending. So I called, and she picked up, and she was like, "Oh my God." <clears throat> How are you? It's so good to hear from you. It's been so many. I said, yes. I just wanted to say hi. It's just crazy I'm doing this gig in Marco. We, you know, it was so weird. I was thinking, oh, God, about high school and all this stuff. And she said, oh, I thought, she's like, I thought you called me because you knew. And I was like, what do you mean? She's like, do you talk to anybody from home? Like, when you, and I, not, re and I don't really from mm -hmm. high school, of mm -hmm. course, not mm -hmm. really. And she said, oh, um, I have cancer. I swear to God, I'm not making a joke, Bobby. <laughs> And not, I, I don't know why I'm smiling. Because you think I'm coming with a curveball. Yeah. And I said, really? And she said, yeah, you know, and it's, I can live with it and all the stuff. <laughs> Bob. I'm not. And she said, I can live with it. It's, it's not going to be life ending, but it's, I thought that's why you called. And something in the universe had told me to, to call. Yeah. So my point is, I, I somewhat believe in it too, because I was like, why would I call her? Yeah. Something was like, give her a call. So did, 
And then did you was, did you help her out in any kind of way? Did it well, make nothing, her feel good? There's nothing I could do, but I but we talked for a while, and it was kind of nice that I we like we had this reconnection. Yeah, but I thought it was so strange because why I would have never called her otherwise. It was just like it was. I would well, never. Then why, then, then why when I said when we said earlier, do you believe in coincidences? How come you went the other way? This is for the show. Just for the oh, show. for comedy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for comedy. Yeah, but, for the but, show. But, but but how crazy though, right? Like, I've, yeah, that's crazy. I, no, okay. So I don't. I believe in. Um, I believe in. Sometimes the universe will send you these weird small things, and you either do them or, or you totally ignore them. But they may not always be come to fruition. Have you ever had that route? Have you ever had something give you like a signal to do something, and then you you um, adhere to it, or you're just so anti everything? <laughs> you're such an angsty little teen. I know she's getting worse as time goes on. Yeah. No, but. Um, at the Kalila and Tito Bobby were talking about my real dad. And then after two weeks, he called after many years. And then, yeah, that that's the only thing that was a coincidence. They were talking about him and he called. Yeah. and then That's kind of creepy. Yeah. So because like, you hadn't talked to him for how long? I talked to him when I was 10 and then he ignored me again. What do you mean? Like you would call him and he wouldn't reach out back to you? Yeah. Yeah. That's so mean. So mean. It's your kid. I know. How, well, and why though? Why was he? Is he? He had another family. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he went so to he Korea, liked, right? He liked the other one more. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I guess. Oh man. Oh, don't say that. In that well, way. if they're better, they're better. <laughs> they, but they were better, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he had another family in Korea. Yeah. Wow. How many kids? Two kids. Do you know who they are at all? No. You no. Never so, met him. So never when seen we, him? I remember bringing it up. I was wow. out of the blue because I think I was like, I don't know what popped in my head, but I was like. I knew Giovanni, her stepdad. I love that guy, you know. Giovanni? Is he Italian? <sighs> no. No, he's... that's just, you know. Giovanni's an Filipinos, Italian Filipinos, they have strange names. That's an Italian name. Yeah. Giovanni? They have names like X-Pro, and they have, like, names that shouldn't what, be. are they named after golf balls? What is <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, they have, like, names like um, Dilithium Crystal would be a name. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm, not, I'm being real. They just where do they yeah. get these names from? Campfire. They just take an English word. Yeah. 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 You could, you literally can call some. Hey, what's up, Campfire? He's like, oh hey, hey, how you doing? Yeah. So he's my brother, Quadro. So I always thought to myself, I go, well, if, and then I found out that Giovanni, you know, what I mean was Rubisi. Giovanni Rubisi is her stepdad. Right, right. And I go, um, what happened to your real dad? I asked, and we talked about her real dad. And all of a sudden, a couple of weeks later, he, he calls called out of nowhere. I talked to my real dad, my biological father, a couple days ago because my grandfather died. Two days ago. Are you happy? No, I'm, I feel sad about it. He did. He passed away. He was a great man. What was passed his name? Passed away. Dominic. How did he die? Gun down. No, no. How did he die? Don't make it a joke. He got into a fist fight. Oh. 92. <laughs> <laughs> he got into the boot where he got into a fist fight. Yeah. Over a parking spot. <laughs> it's so funny. He's ninety two. He, how do you think he, he died? Yeah, he died he from died fucking from the, the air. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Can you? I can't believe. You know, I talked to him. I talked to him. This is true. Uh, we went out to Palm Springs on Saturday, and I I talked to him uh, on Saturday and I went to Palm Springs. And I got to tell you, there is something. We're getting very serious on this podcast for some reason. There is some Rudy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> there is something about when somebody knows they're going to die. That they talk differently. Do you understand what I mean by that? No, I don't. He sounded different. Like he. Oh, my dad did the same thing. He sounded. You know what my dad said? Huh? I think I'm gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, he's that's different. He just sounded. He sounded. Um, dude, he sounded like it was like a, a, a high amount of clarity. Ah. If you understand what I mean by that. But was he like? Was he analyzing his life? Was he well? You know, his, his kids were there with him all the time, right? right. The, my my dad and brothers and sisters were there. But I think he was just like really excited and happy to have like so much family around him during a shitty time. Yeah. That I think you physically feel and you emote differently. But when we spoke on the phone, you wouldn't have told. You wouldn't have been able to say this guy's gonna die. You'd be like, he's a, he's in a great fucking mood. Yeah, but check this out. If I was dying, like, yeah. I was an old man. Yeah, soon. And I knew it was soon. <laughs> and I knew I was gonna die, right? Yeah. And I could just kind of like feel you, it. You, you, you might not one hundred percent believe you're gonna die, right? But then in your head, you must think it's a possibility because you're you, old, right? You gotta know. You gotta know. And I, if I had friends and family around, right, I wouldn't talk to Juliana, this one, the same way as I do. 
Right. Right. Like fucking clean that or pick that up. You know right. what I mean? <laughs> Who are you talking to? You know what I mean? Right. That kind of thing. I would probably say stuff like, you know what, Jules? Um, it's been a real pleasure. You would. Yeah. And I, you know, I'm so glad I met you. Because family matters. Yeah. And I would say that to everyone around me. I would go, even you, I'd be like, you know, aside from all the, yeah. No. I'll tell you what I would say. What? You're on your deathbed right now. Do it. Lay, down, go, like, lay down like you're on your deathbed. There. <laughs> there it is. That, that's I good. would say this. I would say, um, you know, Andrew, growing up, I always felt different. And I, you know, even when I had friends, I just didn't really completely identify with them. And um, as I get as I got older, and I followed my dreams as a comic and stuff like that, I felt like I met my people. And um, you know, when I met you, you know, it if it literally felt like I had known you all my life, and that you are you you and I are like. Um, you know, souls that knew each other in previous lives. That's what it felt like. And I just want to say that it was a real play. And I also think that, that you're a really a talented guy and it make me, makes me feel, you know what I mean? It makes me feel talented that people like you, right? Talented people, you may want to be around me and work with me. And working with you was a pleasure. I learned a lot. And I have to say, man, uh, I love you. I love you too. I would say something like that. That's so nice. <laughs> How does it feel? So, I mean, it may, like moved me. No, now I challenge you okay. to say something as moving. I'm on my deathbed. Yes, I challenge you. Yeah, you walk into my house with a room, be, but but try to be real because I was. That's what I would Doot. really say. Doot. Andy. Doot. Hey, fuck. Doot. Andy, it's me, Bob. <gasps> Bob. Bob, thanks for coming. <laughs> We recorded two weeks ago. What do you? I know. I can't believe you let Jules drive it. <laughs> she hit me so hard with the Prius. <laughs> but it's okay. I forgive her. And I want to take this moment to say say what I want to say to yeah, you, go Bob. Ahead. Bobby. Bobby. You. Light up. My life, <laughs> you give. Let me have my me. fucking moment. Oh, sorry, Bobby. <laughs> Just the brakes are. Bobby. Yeah, go ahead. I'm here. I've always thought that you were the. Oh, <gasps> Bob. Uh, I'm gone by then. You're gone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I faked it. <laughs> No, I'm I mean the car dead. already. Okay, I, honestly, that's what I really would say to you. D you know, can I just... You know what I'd I, say to you? It's so insulting what you You know what I would doing. say to you? Be real. You know what I'd say to you? Yeah, go ahead. You're all right, kid. <laughs> You're all right. You, you don't have it in you. I would say... You would really, say, you, you really would don't say, have it in you. Coming. You don't have it in I would you say thanks. to be real and heartfelt. No, because yours connect. was so nice. We are going to play... A quiz game again, uh, trivia about St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, of course, because I and I, if I don't win this, yeah, I'm gonna be so pissed off. What? Uh, it's best. I mean, it's uh, first to what? Three, five, five, five. So, and you guys, <clears throat> I don't so, know anything. I'll ask a question. I don't know anything about St. Patrick's. Yes, you do. Day. We've talked about it on the show before. I've given yeah, but I don't know the history. Like, I don't know where it's from. Yes, I don't know why do. they're doing it. Well, it's from Ireland. You know that. Okay. Well. Uh, I can. We can do a trial round if you guys no, want. Just, no, okay. just no. Play. Let's start I'll it out. Play it. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna start with Rudy. Rudy. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You don't ask the question. We all. Bu what's the buzzers no, for then? The, because you guys can still. If she doesn't know the answer, you guys can oh, fight can to see. still. Rudy. Of which country is St. Patrick the Patriot Saint? Ireland. Correct. One point for Rudy. <laughs> it's like he sets it up for her just to win it's every so time. If I, if so I don't annoying. get a softball one like that, I'm going to fucking kill you. What did St. Patrick believe a shamrock represented? Luck. You don't have to buzz. Oh. That's not correct. Read the question again. What did St. Patrick believe a shamrock represented? Okay. It, uh, the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Correct. The Holy Trinity. The Holy Trinity. 
Okay. Hell yeah, I got a stolen point from Bob. Now it's my question. Yes. Andrew. God bless, by what, the way. God bless. What are the odds of finding a four-leaf clover? What are the odds of finding a four-leaf clover? You know, one in a, one in one in a hundred thousand. Bobby? Zero percent. They're, they don't <laughs> exist. Okay, Rudy? They do. They do? Yeah. Rudy? What the kind um, of question is it? I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't know. <laughs> let me, let, can I answer it again? No, you did one. You're done. She has to go. One in four. No, that, that, no. <laughs> okay. One in 5,000. No, but you are closer. It's one in 10,000. So we're going to give it to you. Two point, Rudy. <laughs> Fuck you, Andres. <laughs> Spanish bitch. Rudy. Okay. Which U.S. city dyes its river green annually to celebrate St. Patrick's Day? What? Um, I don't know. San Francisco. She, she has to answer. She just did. San Francisco. Yeah. Bobby? Philadelphia. Nope. <laughs> nope. Okay, we're out of time. Nobody no, else can answer. No, it's mine. I nope. get to answer. Sorry. Sorry no. <laughs> Chicago, Illinois. Chicago, I get to fucking give me the points. no, no, no. no. You'll get it. Yes, yeah. I fucking do. Fuck you. We, that's what this is all about. I got it, Andres. You know I did. Well, yes, but it, it got in late, you know? What the fuck do you mean? <laughs> what the fuck do you mean? If they don't get it right, then we get a chance to answer. Yeah, and he true. buzzed that's, in. You know what? That's true. He gets it. No, but uh, you go guys... ahead. Okay. Do it again. <laughs> Bobby, what are the three colors of the Irish flag? <laughs> White, green, and orange. Correct. Yes. You don't need a buzz. Oh, I don't. Oh. Well, <laughs> I get a point. Yes. Okay. You have one. Okay. Andrew, how many churches and cathedrals are named after St. Patrick in Ireland? Oh my God! Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Uh, one hundred and twelve. Bobby. Three hundred and twelve. <laughs> Two thousand. <000. laughs> okay. I don't think I'm. You guys get this point. Sixty. 60. Oh. I'm closest. Yeah, yeah so he gets it. Too, too off. Too off. <laughs> too uh. off? Dude, I'm going to fucking call ice on you. <laughs> I'm going to call fucking ice. You're going back to Spain, bitch. You keep, he's got fucking attitude. Do you notice that? It's it's insane. He's going to get fired. How do I call ice? Can you call ice? Go ahead. Keep Rudy. going. Rudy. Okay, fill in the blank. Blank, me, I'm Irish. Blank me, I'm Irish. You have to fill up, fill in the fill blank. Fill out the blank part. <laughs> what? Um. I'm call. I'm actually calling. George, Irish. George, <laughs> me, I'm Irish. <laughs> George, me, I'm Irish. God, you are so dumb. <laughs> Fuck me, I'm Irish. No, it's kiss me, I'm Irish. Uh. <laughs> I get that point too. I literally just called ICE, the Homeland Security yeah, line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting you deported, dude. Andres. You got the point, Andrew. Yeah, but I've had fucking eight points. Go ahead. And, 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 you're, and, and you said we're tied? All right, so it's no. three, two, two. You're winning. Three, two, two. By a lot. You're, you're, no, three, two, two. You're winning. By more no, than that. No, you're not. Now keep going. I got Chicago. Get I got more, the Holy get Trinity. More. You Too late. Bobby. Thank you. According to the legend, what animal did St. Patrick chase out of Ireland? A troll. <laughs> no. Okay. Don't stop that or I'm going to leave. Go ahead. R Rudy? <laughs> a rabbit. <laughs> stop that! <laughs> uh, snakes. Yes. Yeah. You know I'm getting all these right. Andrew. Yeah. What year did the annual Shamrock Ceremony in the White House start? 1976. 1980. 19... 74. Fuck you. Correct! Guys. Good. <laughs> really, really good guess, Rudy. <laughs> All right, uh, enough. Shit. Enough. Sorry. Somebody has to clean that. Okay. Yeah, they do. Oh, yeah. Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> what city in the Sinlog Santo Nino Festival held every year? It's what like city to... is the Cinco? <laughs> What is it? Sinolog Santo. Sinolog? Sinolog what? Sinolog Santo. Silo, silo, Sinolog <laughs> Santo. Nino silo, Festival. I'm not done. Brazil. <laughs> no. Nope. Sao Paulo. No. Rudy? Cebu. 
Correct. So annoying. He does questions just for her. Yeah. <laughs> Can we do a competition right now that's not fucking uh, St. Patrick's Day related? It's St. Patrick's Day. I know, but let's just do another one about, like, Godzilla or something that we might want to... What about Star Trek? Yeah, let's do one on Star Trek. Well, I'm never going to get anything. Star right? Trek. Star Trek. I don't know let's anything do Star Trek. about Star, Star Trek. Trek. Go ahead. How many movies uh, are in the Star Trek franchise? Oh, my God. That's so hard. Seven. No, there's way more. I including Next Generation? Yes. Okay. Nerd. This is such nerd shit. <laughs> I'm drinking another beer. I would say... Ten. It's probably twelve. No. Eleven. Well, Rudy is the closest. Thirteen. I told you. I said I should have said twelve. And this is it. So Rudy wins. Okay, good. <laughs> Thank you for being a bad friend. <laughs> Fuck you, I'm done. Thank you for being a bad friend. Well, I guess that's that. I'm doing a couple of dates, okay? Uh, I'm p filling out the calendar a little bit for the fall, but right now I've got Salt Lake City, which is almost all sold out. If not sold out, we're adding shows. Ooh. And also uh, Addison Improv, which is one of your favorites. I love Close Addison. near Dallas. People are like, is it how far from Dallas? You can drive there. Go to andrewsantino.com for tickets. andrewsantino.com for those tickets. Yep.